Welcome back YouTube viewers. I am back once again under the bridge at Lake Bissano doing some vertical jigging. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Hopefully I can um, put together a few good catches for you. So this area where I'm at, um, about a month and a half ago, the fish were chasing my lures. I even made a video of that and I caught like 30 in one day. But for some reason, <clears throat> for the last month or so, they've only wanted to feed vertical jigging. And I'm trying to figure this out because there's minnows. I see minnows all over the place. I'll catch a fish here and there, but nothing like I caught that one day. And, or that those, like probably about like three weeks in a row, I was catching them with casting and, um, and reeling. So one thing that I'm trying to figure out is maybe it's the um, oxygen level is a lot lower. So those fish are not chasing. They're just sitting in one spot. It's also, you know, been pretty hot. So I'm thinking what they're doing is they're just sitting here waiting for, for minnows to pass by. And that's how they're feeding. They're not chasing anything around like they were. And it's possible that it might be that the minnow population is a lot, is a lot more. That they can just sit there and maybe they're feeding on, you know, small shad and stuff too. But... For some reason, maybe maybe you guys could shed some light on this for me in the comments because <clears throat> I've been baffled. You know, I can catch them, but I prefer not catching them like this. I would prefer catching them with casting. I would, I would prefer ca casting and catching them that way. It's a lot more fun for me. Jigging is just not that much fun. I mean, it's fun, don't get me wrong. I like catching fish, but casting is just a totally different ball game. So maybe you guys can put in the comments uh, what I'm doing wrong or why they're not um, going after my jig. And um, maybe I can figure this out. Uh, another thing that they have done in the last like month is they started draining the lake. And so it's been slowly decreasing uh, and if you look at those those pylons there, you can see how much it's dropped. See, if you look at the black, at the black line there, that's where the level was uh, whenever I was started first started catching all those fish. Then they announced that they were going to drain the lake, so um, it's been steadily dropping. So I'm thinking that it's uh, that might have lowered the oxygen in the water, and why these fish are acting all funny well that was good time to get back to fishing Please excuse my messy boat, guys. Look at that. Look at that. So that was a spot that was deep water 
and down in that deepest water uh, a lot of fish there so that's usually where I like to fish and you uh, sometimes I'll catch fish there but uh, this time they uh, just weren't biting there so now I'm going and look for a better spot So, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll you'll know that um, if the crappie aren't biting like super good, uh, then I like to mix it up and go out there and throw a um, a swim bait or something like that to see if the bass might be biting. This is the uh, the jointed swim bait that I'm throwing here. <clears throat> it runs really shallow, so uh, that's why I like it in this area. So just to give you a layout, uh, where you're seeing that land over there, <clears throat> it's probably uh, only about a foot or two feet, about 20 feet from the uh, from the bank. And then if you come a little bit closer to me, um, about 10 or 20 feet, that's uh, the channel. So there's deep water, and then there's a drop off, and there's a channel there, and it, it could range from uh, seven or eight feet up to about 13 feet but I think right here is probably about about eight or nine feet deep right there you guys see that bird over there on that point it's like he's about to try to catch something and that is the exact same spot that I'm about to go to because I saw some fish busting stuff up over there Look at him, yeah. There's got to be some bait there. He knows. He knows where the bait's at. And I'm about to go and knock him off his spot because that's what I do. Oh, look, he got one. All right. I think he got one. They didn't like that. So I can feel that I'm bumping bottom. Uh, the ideal bait right here would be probably like a Senko or like a 10 inch worm. But I don't have any rigged up so I'm just going to go with good old trusty shallow running shad swim bait. This thing can go through the skinniest of water. Let's see if I can catch one out of here. 
So hopefully that's not confusing. Uh, I was throwing a hard swim bait earlier. Now I'm throwing a soft swim bait. The soft swim bait has a um, has a hit uh, one quarter ounce head on it, so it's going to go a little bit deeper. The um, hard swim bait, is, which is jointed, uh, it, it probably swims about six inches under the surface. Uh, this one usually dips down to probably about three or four feet uh, below the surface depending on how fast you're reeling you could you could even get it down to eight feet if you reel really slow Fishing has been really slow today so far. Um, that's why I'm really changing it up a lot, trying different things. Not to mention the Salvinia is getting on my hook pretty much every cast. at this spot that I just pulled into, I am willing to bet my rod that there is some crappie somewhere in this area. I just got to find them because look, there's a bug, there is a tree, tree top there, and more bugs over there, and uh, there's deep water. If you look at the fish finder, there's deep water, about eight foot deep. And there's got to be something here, so I just got to find them. So, wish me luck. So, the last spot with all of the signs that said that there were going to should be fish there, didn't get a bite. That's just how it goes, you know. Sometimes it just looks too perfect, and there's really nothing there. Sorry, I got my motor hung up on a sandbar back there. I had to go fix it. Anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, I was saying that, yeah, <clears throat> you, it might look like the perfect spot. It might have all the conditions that would tell you that, there would, that there's fish there, and there's not. So, anyway, this is our last spot. This is my last spot I'm going to try for crappie fishing. My last ditch effort.
see. Oh, there he is again. All right, finally. And that's a good one, too. He was barely hooked. He was hung. Let's see if there's any more in there. So, this has become my new favorite crappie spot, mainly because the uh, brush pile is so close to the channel. All the other ones are a lot closer to the bank, so this one being closer to the channel, uh, it seems like they like to get in there and uh, feed on uh, shad and stuff that's in that area. like I need to go do something else. Uh, thinking about going down to the main channel. I haven't checked out there in a while and see if I might be able to find something. First fish. Game on. Another young
Well guys, it looks like that storm right there is about to run me off and I just found a good crappie spot, but I will be back because I just found a new area and um, it's not very far from the area that I've been fishing. It's just <clears throat> I'll have to get out here earlier because it's going to get hot in the daytime. So I have to fish early in the morning or in the evening. But the good thing is the weather is getting better. So anyway, this is the, the new area. And I, this is a area that I have fished, uh, bass fished. And we've seen a lot of shad in this area. And we've also done some catfishing here. But I've never done any crappie fishing and I've always, uh, and whenever I was thinking about spots that I could go fish, because the other spots that I've been fishing have pretty much tapped out, I was thinking about this one because of the uh, shad population in this, around that little bend right there. So anyway, um, I am very happy to, uh, to announce that, you know, I caught a few here. The first spot that I stopped uh, saw some fish on it caught probably a good half a dozen or so so i'm happy and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and and get out of here so uh thanks for watching bro.